That little twerp. Look at her living her happy life while I'm stuck here. You thought your precious Eric defeated me and saved the day? You were wrong. <laughs> Then again, I too was wrong to think I could win by playing your foolish game. There's no reason for me to compete for your life when I could just take it. <laughs> your visage attire with winds of the Aegean Sea, Maquillage, Abichendi, Edge Edge Young to of the Tide, send them off to me! <laughs> Why did nothing happen? No. No! It is such a beautiful morning today. Yeah, I'm gonna take Max out for a walk later. I think he'll really enjoy it. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Bless you. I will have my revenge, but first, I need a nap. <laughs> dress <coughs> ah you're a wee one aren't ya you're not a person are ya happened to me mom once <coughs> ah right just the frog then <sighs> rapunzel what happened why are you not blonde hmm perhaps because i'm not rapunzel Yep, that would do it. Pascal, where's Rapunzel? <coughs> Don't worry, buddy. We'll find her. You stay here in case she comes back, okay? <coughs> I know someone who's familiar with magic. We'll go there and see if we can get any answers. Wait a minute. Don't I get a say in it? Well, that depends. Do you even know where you are? No, not exactly. All right, then. Lead the way. Where am I? And what am I wearing? This feels like magic. I better go find someone who can help me. Oh dear, where am I? Oh my prince? Bashful? Sleepy? Dopey? My sister? Oh, I'm afraid I don't know. One moment I was sharing breakfast with my friend Cinderella, and suddenly I was blinded by a bright light, and I found myself here. Oh, I see. Well, if you're here, then Elsa must be having breakfast with your friend. I think 
you might be right. Elsa? Elsa, are you there? Sorry to intrude, but this is urgent. Not knowing the situation, I'm gonna guess something isn't right. That's not Rapunzel. Nope, meet Merida. Wrong again? The name's Merida. Nice to meet you, Merida. My name's Snow White. And I'm Anna. Yeah, great. Flynn, can we, uh, go find Elsa now? Yes, please. Snow White, can you lead them to Cinderella's house? Of course. You're not coming? No, I want to stay here just in case she returns. And I can ask the rock trolls what's going on. The rock trolls? On second thought? We don't need to know. <laughs> Be safe and bring her back, okay? Yeah, I promise. You two ready? Yeah. So, Elsa was it? Yes, that's right. I think it's pretty obvious that we are clearly dealing with magic. Are you familiar with magic? <laughs> A bit, yes. Whoa. So, what kind of magic do you think we're dealing with? <gasps> oh, goodness. Where am I? Tiana's palace? Oh, I, I see. I must be in a restaurant. Order up. One order of Daddy's homemade gumbo. Wonderful, thank you, my love. You are not Tiana. Oh, no, my name's Cinderella. We don't want the gumbo to get cold. Oh, right, of course. But the rock trolls can erase memories. Okay, but Mama Odie helped me deal with Dr. Facilier, a shadow man who could turn people into frogs. Hmm. Were these frog people cured? Yeah, it was Naveen and me. And how was the curse lifted? Elsa? Ah, yes, they're still in here. Good afternoon. My name is Snow White, and I believe I'm wearing your dress, Queen Elsa. <laughs> Indeed. And I believe I'm living your life, Princess Snow White. That's all well and fascinating, but how do we fix it? Actually, Tiana and I were just getting to that, uh... Merida. I've just been calling her Ginger. How was your curse broken, Tiana? Well, I married Naveen, became a princess, and when we kissed, the spell was broken. I was saved by a kiss, too. I just had to reconcile with my mum. It was true love's sacrifice that broke our curse. I just gave Blondie a haircut. She did save my life, but that was just with, like, normal magic. Hmm. Okay. That aside, I'm sure we can piece a solution together. Elsa? <gasps> oh, good, we found you! Anna! Rapunzel! <gasps> Eugene! <gasps> the curse! It broke! <laughs> Eugene? Oh, right. Yay! So that might mean... <laughs> it worked! Oh, how wonderful! So that would mean... I would just need to travel back home to Naveen. Yes, that should definitely work. Please bring Prince Charming with you, just in case you run into Cinderella first. Good idea. I would also hate for her to have to travel home alone. What are you going to do, Snow? <laughs> I was actually supposed to meet my prince here, so I'll just wait. Let's go ahead and introduce you to Prince Charming, so you can get home to your Naveen. That'd be great, thanks. Safe travels, everyone. Bye! Well, I guess there's nothing left for us to do except for go home. Yes, but I do wonder who caused that curse to begin with. Does it really matter? <laughs> no, I suppose not. So, we can go home now? <laughs> yes. Order up! Two jambalayas, a shrimp and grits, rice and gravy, and daddy's gumbo! Great, I am on it! Naveen! Tiana, my love! Oh, it feels so good to be back! Oh, my prince, I knew he would find me! Everything's back to normal now. 
<sighs> yes, thank goodness for that. Thank you for your help in the restaurant, Cinderella. Oh, of course. I could tell that this place was full of love and I didn't want to leave it alone. And thank you, Tiana, for bringing my prince to me. <laughs> of course. I know what it's like to be without the one you love. I don't suppose you have time to stay for dinner? Of course we do. And I'd really love to taste a proper bowl of Daddy's homemade gumbo. Oh, yep, that takes years to master. <laughs> but I would be happy to teach you.